Hey everyone, and welcome to this major third stimulus package update. And it's major because Joe Biden has signed the American Rescue Plan, that $1,400 checks will be going out. So I want you to do one thing for me. Go ahead, smash the thumbs up button if you are happy about receiving these $1,400 stimulus checks. And I have some timing about when we could actually be seeing these checks, when they should be completed by, some information on the new child tax credit situation, and some more information on something we've been talking about for a couple of months off and on, and that is recurring stimulus checks. I'll tell you what the likelihood is of that and what's gonna go on with that. Hey everybody, my name is Randy and welcome to the Late Night Grind. This is a pretty much a brand new YouTube channel and I started covering these stimulus check updates because it's of great interest to me. So if you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead, click that subscribe button, tap the bell notification icon, and uh, YouTube will actually notify you when I release a new video. And if you want to support a new YouTube channel like this, the best thing you can do is actually hit that thumbs up button. If you do that, I'd greatly appreciate it. So before we get started, I wanted to ask you guys to do one thing. I want you to comment down below. Now that we're getting these $1,400 stimulus checks, and it should happen very soon, I want you to let me know in the comments section down below what you guys uh, have earmarked or have planned for this stimulus money. I know my wife and I, we already have some thoughts on what that money's gonna go towards, um, any bills that we might have, maybe some debts, things like that. So just let me know, I'm really curious. I've been putting out polls and different things like that on my community tab, asking you guys what those plans are because, because, because I can tell my audience so far is pretty broad. Uh, some answers go as so far as to say, well, you need to keep your electric on. Uh, to anywhere from, uh, yeah, we're going on vacation. So I'm just really curious as to see uh, what's going on there. As far as time frames are looking like right now, this could hit as soon as this weekend. So I, I, I've now seen several reports that say this weekend, Saturday, possibly Sunday, um, although I don't think anything's gonna hit bank accounts on Sunday, uh, but it may show up Monday morning. Uh, stimulus check money going to be hitting bank accounts. So if you are on a file with the IRS as receiving your stimulus through direct deposit, that is going to start this weekend. Now, it doesn't mean you're going to get it this weekend, it just means it's going to start. The IRS basically said this whole process of, uh, of giving out payments should not take any more than about two to three weeks max. So the direct deposits, they're gonna be first, and they're gonna be doing it kind of in waves. So uh, probably every two to three days, they're gonna do another wave of uh, tens of millions of people every couple of days until uh, they're done. Then after that, they're gonna to get to printing the physical paper checks and actually getting them in the mail. Now, obviously that's gonna take a few more days depending on where you are in the country, um, and just being in the mail is gonna slow things down a little bit but it shouldn't take any more than a couple of weeks. And an actual statement from the IRS came out and said and said they should be done getting uh, the vast majority of the people, these stimulus checks, before the first day of spring, which is actually on the 20th. So after that, it's probably just gonna be maybe like on a case-by-case -case basis. And if you don't receive it, you're gonna have to go to the irs.gov website and use their payment tracker. They set that up for the second stimulus check and it was used by a lot of people. So I'm guessing there's probably going to be just as many people uh, using it if they don't get their check in the first two weeks. Um, so you can be able to go there and do that. So like I said, smash the thumbs up button if you are happy, if you are excited about receiving this stimulus money. And if you're not, if you're concerned, if you're a fiscal conservative and you're really concerned about this massive spending plan that was just approved, just let me know in the comments section below. I wanna hear from everybody on this. So the monthly child tax care credit. In this bill, it was written that the child tax credit can now be used, uh, up to half of the child tax credit can be sent out in the form of monthly payments or periodic payments as was written in. So the Biden administration, they're gonna to have to come in and determine what that periodic time frame is. Uh, it's probably gonna be monthly from what I've been reading in a couple places, although it could be quarterly potentially. Um, and what they're gonna do, the IRS is setting up a portal where you'll, where you'll be able to go in and set up all of your dependents and, and probably need to submit some information so they have it on record. Um, and you'll need to determine if you wanna collect that in, their, in the form of the periodic payments, or if you wanna defer it all and just get it in one big lump sum when you do your 2021 taxes. There's gonna be a lot more information coming out over the next uh, month or two on that as they build this portal, and I'll certainly be keeping you guys up to date on that. And of course, the reason that they were in such a hurry to try to get this passed before the March 14th deadline was because of the unemployment uh, insurance boost was going to be running out. Uh, so as it stands, there shouldn't be any gap in coverage if you are unemployed. 
And for, for the year 2020, they actually wrote into the bill that the first $10,200 that you've received on unemployment will be tax-free. And that's big because that's basically about a one to $2,000 free stimulus that you're going to be getting if you were unemployed last year, which was tens of millions of people. Keep that in mind when you're doing your 2020 taxes. Uh, your accountant should know about it now. If not, if you use H&R Block or you do it yourself, you need to keep that in mind and you're submitting your unemployment payment information. And I actually made a couple videos about this and, and it's going to continue on and on because what the Democrats are doing is talking about multiple stimulus checks or monthly stimulus checks, basically until the effects of the pandemic end. Now, by the time they actually may get this through or, or, or seriously start talking about this uh, infrastructure bill or potentially stimulus checks in this infrastructure bill, the economy may be roaring again, but we don't know yet. We don't know what the unemployment rate is going to do. We don't know what the virus is gonna do or what the government's gonna do about the virus. We don't know what actual, we don't, really don't know what the vaccine and all the testing and tracing that's going on. We really don't know what it's doing yet. When they're talking about this fourth stimulus plan, I'm now seeing articles almost every single day talking about all of the, especially the Democratic senators and the House of Representatives now talking about monthly stimulus checks. Some of them have said $2,000 a month, of them, others haven't said any, any amount at all. Uh, but if that becomes even more serious, I'm definitely gonna let you guys know. Uh, but I figure I have to talk about it because I see it more and more every day uh, on online news sites and different government sites uh, that track this kind of stuff. So really wanted to bring it up to your attention as a potential. Now, they couldn't do this until they do the fourth stimulus plan, which most likely won't be coming down the pike until um, mid to end of summer. They're probably going to start really focusing in on what's going to be included in that plan. Joe Biden's made mention of it. And when his administration has made mention of it, you know that they're going to focus on this because they can actually use the reconciliation process one more time this year in order to get something through. Getting through a massive multi-trillion dollar stimulus plan is on the table for them. It's not out of the realm of a possibility. Now there's some things that they can't include in that, that they tried to include in this one, like the $15 an hour minimum wage hike, it was going to be the same process. You're going to have people against it. You're going to have Republicans against it. You may even have some Democratic senators against it, even though the one that was the holdup, Joe Manchin, has said he is not afraid to use the reconciliation again if it makes sense, if it's targeted, and if it's going to benefit the American people the most. Now, coming up on some of my other videos, I'm really going to be diving into a couple of questions that I've been seeing in the comment section a lot more. One is the SSI and SSDI recipients. Uh, where do you guys fit within the whole stimulus plan, as well as the EIDL grants and the PPP money for small businesses, for side hustle businesses, things like that. Really going to start diving into deep into that with you because there's a lot of you out there that that's really going to benefit and probably going to need some information in terms of walking through applications, things like that. So I'll definitely be getting some videos out for you guys on that. If you have questions on that, you're going to need to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. So hit the subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a great thumbs up. Like I said, it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate all the support that you guys have been given, especially to my current subscribers uh, throughout this whole stimulus process. I hope you guys learned a lot uh, just as I did. So in any case, that's going to be it for today and I'll see you guys on the next video.